It's because you are pushing your thumb into the pointy end of the thumbtack. Turn it around. Just turn it around and everything's going to be okay. Just turn it around. Because it's and, flat on that end. And push on the, the flat. The mushroom side. Yeah. That's dude. what we call it here in the official world where we make PSAs for thumbtacks. We call it the mushroom side. Right. Push away. Welcome to the mushroom side. Push away. Well, that was a weird PSA. <laughs> yeah, you know? it, it really still was. started off as like a, uh, <laughs> um, like a prescription. No, that's what they are. Like the lawsuit commercials that come on. It's like, are you suffering from, well, like a like a after hypertension special. in your lower back? You may be eligible <clears throat> for a lawsuit. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's about. not a PSA. Like but participate in a lawsuit. I think we got there, eventually. You want your guy? You can put him over here. Welcome to Good Mythical More. This Good Mythical More is brought to you by WarbyParker.com. That's right. Head over to WarbyParker.com slash GMM to order a free home try-on today. Choose your favorite pair of the five, and then you have your prescription added to your order. Now, Warby Parker makes ordering glasses prescription or not, easy, fun, and affordable, starting at $95 a pair, and they come to you in 10 days. And for every pair of glasses sold, they distribute a pair of glasses to someone in need. Very cool. So that's warbyparker.com slash GMM. Link in the description. Oh, that looks smart. Uh, I feel smart. Um, f uh, cloney or phony, you can buy a clone of your dog. Uh... Phony or cloning, you can buy a clone of your dog. You can get your pet uh, freeze dried. It, it, so it's, yeah, like that except living and not as cold. And here's a hint in the teaser I said, we're going to discuss cloning your pet and it's real. There's just a price tag. That's my hint. Oh, you said that? I just said that. Okay, so yes, you can get it done. That's right, right? Um, it costs $100,000. Oh, give me a break. There are several different companies who offer this service, but the most famous is Suam Institute in South Korea. Uh, they successfully cloned their first dog in 2005 and have since cloned hundreds of animals. Uh, Barbara could be next. Jade could follow shortly after because Jade's going to live longer than Barbara. Now, even though Barbara's younger than Jade, there's a couple of interesting. I'm just joking. There's a couple of interesting things to explore in this. I mean, number one, are they? They're not that viable. The they're not that viable. I would say by the time that we're ready to clone, they're getting uh, better at it? Barbara and Jade. Now, I will say that I told my kids last night. You know, I like to give them a dose of reality every once in a while. I had Barbara in my lap, and I was like. Guys, I just want you to know something, you know, like one of these days, you know, you, you might be in college, you might be a young professional, but you know, you're going to get a call from me and I'm going to say, Barbara's dead. That's <laughs> how this ends, son. I just want you to know that I'm not saying don't get too attached, but if things go as they always do, chances are that you're going to outlive this dog and it's going to be a tough time. Just want to let you know, that's life. Of course, oh, that's sad. They knew I was kind of joking with them too, so they, they kind of laughed. They were like, Dad, that's horrible, but they also thought it was funny. It's funny because last night- Wait, Maybe she doesn't have to die, that's what I'm getting at. I was talking to um, my family. I gathered them all around and I was You have like, a family as well? Yeah, and I was holding Jade. Um, and I know about your family. And I was like, kids, one day, you might be off at college, you might be in, endeavoring in the professional society. Weird, you had the same conversation. And um, you're gonna come home and visit your parents and Jade, and you're gonna see that Jade's got a fifth leg or a third eyeball. And is a puppy. Again. And is a puppy again. And, uh, I see where you're going with this. And uh, I they, doubt they were like, cool. I, and then that was the end of the conversation. I doubt that they charge $100,000 if it's not a pretty good copy. That's I mean, I don't know what I'd pay well, for. Well, it's interesting it. because technically it could look different, like the calico cat. So it's, you know, it, there were there's some, and I don't know what other genes could be switched on and off in the development process, but you're not guaranteed to get the exact same Jade. The dog's going to be a little I bit would, different. I would, I would, I'll start selling uh, clones of Jade. Well, see, that's the thing. The dog's going to look a little bit different and be a little bit different, which takes me back to the fact that twins, now I know, are technically clones. But you always there's you know everybody knows twins right nurture and they're, and they're different 
No, not only not, they, they look different. You know, there's this moment in every friendship that you have with a set of twins. And it's that moment in which you can finally tell them apart by just by just looking at their face. You're talking like, about like Josh and Joey? Yeah. And you we went to high school And with? Josh and Joey. Well, Joey had an eye patch. <laughs> Yeah. Just kidding, he didn't. It sure did. But J Josh and Joey, they did, they looked different, and it wasn't just because one of them had a bowl cut. They had very different hair. They always had very different hair, but and that made it yeah. easy, and they probably did yeah. that for people's benefit. Right. But after you got to know them, I'd say like after you knew them a week, you could tell their face was shaped a little bit different. You know, you and you and you could see that a lot different actually. It's like one of them got hit with a softball as a child or something. I don't mm -hmm. know. Right. Josh. Yeah. I never, I never ask him. Hey, did you get hit by a softball in the face? No, he really didn't. He's good. You're a good-looking guy, it was and you're a great different. firefighter. I or uh, I think they're both firefighters actually, but they're on different squads. I didn't want. We to shouldn't talk about. I didn't them. want to speculate about them as much as you are. Doing you don't right look, now. Josh. You don't look like because you've been hit by a softball. I was just they're making going, that up. They're going to watch now. That just like called, the iPad. We called them out. I you're think, both equally good-looking guys. I think he actually said their last name, so they're definitely going to watch. Um, I think I hope you guys are both doing great. My point was, and we we miss you. After about a week, I w it was easy to tell you apart, not because of the softball thing, right. but just because of some just natural differences. But they dated the same girl at the same time. <laughs> that was they did. that she, was wrong. She, she didn't know that was wrong. She didn't know, and it took about a month for her. She was a little slow. Kevin, Kevin is uh, <laughs> Kevin's uh, fiancéed to a twin. Right? Yeah. You're engaged to a twin. Identical twin. Can you tell Identical them apart? Identical twin, yeah. I could tell them apart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so okay. Here, here, By what? Feel? Here, oh, come on, Link. <laughs> Here's what I want to know. Because uh, you did you get to know her and, and become attracted to her before you knew she was a twin? And by her, we mean meet, both of them. Did you meet them at the same time and like chose one? I met them together. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You did? Yeah, but Kate, she chose me. She came after me. Oh, okay. You just stood there and said, well, my chances are good. I'm just going to stand here and see which one. <laughs> yeah. But I, did you have a preference of which one would choose you? Don't um, answer that. <laughs> don't answer that. <laughs> this is a minefield conversation. <laughs> no, they're, they're both very different. They really are. Like, once you get to know them. How are they if, different? If you meet them at first, you'll think they're the same person. Like looking at them, it's hard to tell them. Apart I haven't seen first. the twins, so do they have you the same hair them. haircut? They have the same hair. They, hold they on, wear the same no, outfits. But they, hold on, same outfits. Overalls. No, no, they wear overalls. They had day. the same job yeah. though. They had so they went to school together. Yeah, this is. They th took all the same classes yes. together in college. See, I uh, remember they, this. They shared the same car for a long time. See, they was it was it like a driver's ed car? There's two, two steering wheels, wheels. <laughs> two sides, and they just could like drive without even thinking about it. No, it was a Honda, Honda Civic. Oh, okay. Yeah, just but a regular. Civics don't have that. Just a regular no, they car. Don't. You can get it. We can get it. <laughs> they, adjusted, um, so they took all the same classes together, got the same degree, same bachelor's, same master's degree together. Um, they share. They still share a Facebook. <laughs> Which is actually her sister's. Kate doesn't use no, it. They, they, share, they share a Facebook and, account. And they share an Instagram. And, Instagram. and whose picture's on the Facebook account? It's a picture of both of them. <laughs> You're but, stepping into some healthy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and, hold on, and then they had the same job for a while. They had the same job. They had like two or three of the same jobs. Like one would get a job after graduating and get the other one the job. And then they, then they both left that job and they took time off for a little bit and then... Uh, the other one got a job first. Are you sure that it's actually two people? Oh, it's definitely two people. You've seen them together. <laughs> I've seen them together. Okay. Um, so, okay. And but, as, but as one a man could be a projection is, of the other one. But as a man who is entering into a uh, long-term marriage relationship, are you like, this is going to change, change a little bit? Or like, or is it naturally are changing you, at this point? Are you moving in with both of them? <laughs> <laughs> No, me and Kate live together, but they, that just happened recently. They lived together for a long time, too, for, me and Kate have been together for 10 years, and we didn't move in together until September of last year. Okay. So it took, and there was a lot of separation anxiety. It took a long time to talk her into it. Up. And is and there a distinct difference between them, can you just, you look at the face and you know the difference? Yeah, you know the, the face. <laughs> I look at the face. The face, the personality. And how would you quantify the face? No, I'm just kidding. Just <laughs> the weirdest yeah. thing, though, is like there's these moments that they have when 
you know, you'll be in a group of people and they'll just stop and they'll look at each other and they won't say anything. And I've known them for so long now that I, I know what's happening. And it's like they're literally having a conversation without yeah. saying a word. Yeah. And they know exactly what, that, wave, what they're saying. Does one of them get hungry and the other one eat? Um, they don't share a stomach link. Yeah. They're not Siamese? Oh, they're detached. <laughs> they are oh, detached. okay. That explains all right. All right. Well, what's the point of this conversation? They're not even attached. Well, okay. And let me, and let me ask you one final question. We're grill, really gr grilling you here. Um, if for some reason some something happened and then some doctor was like, the only way that we can keep Kate and what's the other one's name? Emily. Emily alive is by reattaching them, even though they never were attached. <laughs> and they had to surgically attach them at the hip. Would you be like, I'm Audi? Or would you be like, I'm gonna deal with this and I can make this work? You could, if you just need some time to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> I think the correct answer is if there was a curtain involved. A cur yeah, well, I mean, so, so lots of Siamese twins were in relationships. Okay. Lots of Siamese twins. There'd be pros and there'd be cons. Okay, <laughs> you didn't have to say anything. So. I gave you an out. You didn't. <laughs> You didn't. You didn't have to say anything, Kevin. There would be cons. <laughs> there would be pros and there would be cons. <laughs> They're great, though. So. <laughs> They're great, though. <laughs>